Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am 8 Vic, and welcome back to Valheim. First and foremost, I gotta chop down these trees. I plant like 100 to 150 trees at a time, and then I go chop them all down. So uh, let's go do that real quick, and then we'll get some other stuff done. Alright, chores are done. It only took two days. In game two days. It took me roughly about 30 35 minutes to actually chop excuse me, chop up all those uh all those trees. Uh for those wondering, my wood cutting skill is 71. I have chopped down a lot of trees in this game. It takes a lot of wood to, you know, to build stuff, especially early game. Alright, so a couple things. I'm gonna craft up a couple uh arrows. Those don't belong in there. So my ultimate goal for today um, was to chop down those trees, right? And then I wanted to show you guys uh, my new docks. I've expanded the docks since last video we built our um, our long ship finally. And the dock that I had was extremely small for that ship. And I didn't like having to bring it in and park it in a certain way. So anyways, I expanded the dock off camera, of course. I'm going to show you guys that. And then we're going to go on a little sea adventure. And uh, we're going to actually hunt some serpents. I haven't hunted any serpents i haven't killed any or even come across any in this game at least and um and the food you get from them uh the food that you can make from the serpent meat is actually really good and uh, of course you can drag them on shore and recover their scales uh, which i've known of for a while but i've never actually done myself um so uh, we're gonna try to do that today not drag them on on uh, on land because you need um, a certain amount of chitin from the leviathan which I don't have enough. Um, how much do I have? I have 16. So if we come across a Leviathan, we'll try to um, harvest some of this and see if we can make the harpoon. But I believe you need the harpoon in order to drag the serpent onto shore. So I don't think that's something I'm going to try to do today. Should I use these uh, iron head arrows? I found these, by the way. I don't I don't use iron to craft arrows, but I did find these. These are 42 pierce damage as opposed to 27. Yeah, let's, let's bring these. Uh, maybe we'll just do like half of them. I don't want to... I don't want to use all of them up. Um, I keep wood arrows on me just for hunting, so we'll actually put those away. And we'll bring the iron arrows. Yeah, let's do that. So first off, it's bright and early in the morning. Um, I have everything I need. I have food. Everything's repaired. Uh, actually, the only thing I'm missing right now is my pickaxe. I still have a bronze pickaxe, a bronze sword, and a bronze regular axe. Um, I'm not bothering with... Uh, upgrading anything to iron yet until I recover some iron. Uh, we only co actually completed two-thirds of our chores that we needed to do before we actually had a little bit of fun. The last thing I wanted to do was to harvest and replant all my 
on my crops, but as you can see, I don't feel like doing that right now. I've got 150 turnips in the ground, uh, 50 carrot seeds, enough to plant another 150. I don't feel like doing that right now. I've been recording for almost 50 minutes, and I haven't even really done anything uh, that much fun. So, um, the only upgrade so far that I've made off camera, like I said, was my dock, which is the big thing I'm going to show you guys. It's like 90% done. There's still some more decorate, decorating and finishing touches I want to do. Um, but once I recover enough uh, leather scraps, because I'm actually used up all of them for all the, the banners I made out there, which I'll show you in a second. I'm actually upgrading the entrances. I'm going to put these little designs here um, and put up these two flags. I've decided these are the colors for my base. Uh, that's just the two banners that I started using in in the beginning of the game, that's just what it's going to be. Uh, but eventually I'm going to fight Ikthir a couple more times, probably about 10 more times, because I want to get these trophies, and I want to put trophies uh, right in the middle of the banners at the three entrances to my base. I think that'll look pretty cool. The new uh, dock that I have, like I said, it's about 90% complete. There's still a couple things I want to do. Get the fuck out of here. Remember before, it was a really small little dock, literally just right here for that guy, a little carve there. So I've since expanded it out out here i'll put in some light posts i put in some banners added another little entrance right here i like it it's not too bad um it's it's a real pain in the ass to build docks because you know water you can't if your guy's swimming you can't build anything so i actually used uh my hoe and i raised the ground up a little bit and i built thanks for the little glitch there and i built off of that it's kind of a cheap way to do it um it works you can't do it like you know, if, it's a pain in the ass to do it the other way. So, like this, it works out pretty good. And, uh, I got a piece down there. I like it. I wanted to make it uh, like a boathouse where I would bring my ship in. But the problem I have, and I know it's, I know it can be done. I've seen it done before. But the problem I have is one, uh, structural integrity of the entire place. Right? It, it's a pain in the ass to try to get stuff to build super high with it still being stable. And also, look how much this ship bounces up and down. You need to be able to clear the mast, right? So I'd have to build super high. So instead, I, uh, I opted for this. I think it looks pretty cool. It's kind of open, so you can still see the seas. You can still see what's going on. Um, I put two brazers in here, so hopefully I could... I wanted to be able to, to get some rest. So if I'm out at sea for a while, chances are by the time I get back, I've lost my rest status. I wanted to be able to walk in here and get some rest. And you can, but I think because it's so open, it's a little off. You kind of have to stand right here at the workbench. And uh, you can almost get level four. Yeah, so I can get level four comfort. So I have some tweaking to do so that as soon as I walk in here, um, my guy can start re resting once he's, you know, dry. Because uh, you do get rest status uh, and comfort from the brazers. They work just like a fireplace. Um, so, it, and yeah, so I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. Um, and eventually I'm going to put two torches right here on these ends. But I want to make these the blue standing iron torches so once i recover some more iron from the crypts of the swamp uh that'll be two things i'll i'll put in here because I, I like the the blue flame that comes with those things all right um and i'm debating putting a portal in here just to uh maybe fast travel from the dock to my base because it's a little bit of, it's a little bit of a run man uh, but i don't know I, I might not we'll see anyways i think we have everything we need right we have uh, we have arrows, we have food, we have all this good stuff. Let's go. Everything's repaired. We got about as much rest as we're going to get. Let's go. Let's take her out on her maiden voyage. biggest concern sailing uh, you know in different areas especially to different islands is the plains I want to stay away from the plains at all costs you know the mountain biome walking across that area walking in there is probably a little dangerous especially if you're not ready to walk in there you don't have the equipment and the, you're not prepared to walk in there but the plains you know the, the death squidos they can if you sail close to the coast they'll come at you you know and while it doesn't take much to kill them it's death squidos man they'll they'll kill you in an instant
Oh, look, we got a little, uh, little village up here, too. Looks like that's close to the Black Forest biome. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get out right here. All right, not bad. My plan wasn't to, uh, explore new islands, you know what I mean? But, uh, we gotta do what we gotta do. So let's pick up some stone. Um, and we'll get some wood together, plant a little campfire. We'll actually, uh, maybe camp out in one of these uh, small little huts up here. Let's see. Yeah, let's venture in a little bit. Let's check, let's check this out a little bit. What we got up here? What's up, buddy? Yep, kind of close to the Black Forest. Um, it's a nice little place. Yeah, we can rest up at one of these shacks and, uh, you know, get a little bit of sleep. I'll probably... I might move my ship up, actually. This looks good. It's taking a little damage, but that's not bad. We can actually repair that. All right, not looking for flint. Let's kill this little guy. Got a one-star neck. Nice. Really needed the neck tail, but that's fine. What I want to do is just rest. I'll just sit here and rest at a campfire throughout the night. Um, wow. I guess I guess we'll deal with this. What's up, bro? Is this y'all's place? Nah, bro. Nah, bro. And it's nighttime. Cool. And it's dark as shit. Cool. Eh, it looks ugly, but that's fine. Serves a purpose. Alright, that's all I wanted. Something's attacking this ship. Could have just been the ship bouncing up and down. Nope. It's fucking neck. Do it. Leave my ship alone, you bitch. You two over there. I see you, you bitch. See that shaman right there? You two, you bitch. See that neck right there? You two, you bitch. Anything else? Alright. Alright. Up bright and early. Just down the line, I don't need a lot of the shit I don't want. Great door fries, got plenty of that. Alright, cool. This I will uh we'll explore one day. One day in the future. What we're going to do now is come over here to the coast. Um, go ahead and plop down a workbench. And repair just a little bit of damage that's happened to my ship overnight. And you know, if I was smart. Some of you may have been thinking this too. But if I was actually smart, I would have brought Portal with me. And then when I wanted to go back home and just rest. I would have just portaled back home. And rested in my actual bed, right? But I didn't think about that. So, uh, you know, maybe next time. Alright, let's head back out. We'll kind of explore this area over here just kind of see what's going on and wrap back around i don't want to travel too far but i mean at the same time i want a serpent man i want some of that sweet delicious serpent meat also uh the food i can make with the serpent meat will give me a bit of an advantage as i like continue in the swamp i definitely want to have like the best food i possibly can uh, when it comes to fighting the next boss uh you know the bone mass he's, uh, he's a bit tougher than the uh, the elder you know, and I'm gonna need uh, I'm gonna need the best suite I could possibly put my hands on. So nice and foggy, just how I like it. Perfect. Nice and rainy too, just how I like it. Perfect.
Try to see if we can steer clear of the storm here. Is that a serpent? There we go. What's up, buddy? Of course, in the storm, we come across them. All right, guys, let's do what we came here to do. We'll hit the ship probably, but it should do a significant amount of damage. What are you doing underneath there, bro? Come on. Give me a fighting chance, buddy. Oh, yeah, these iron arrows are nice. That's it. Sorry, dude. Wow, look, I don't even have to get out the ship. Might need to. I think there's still some serpent meat down there. Damn, these iron arrows do a damn ton of damage. Not bad. Seven. We got seven serpent meat. Pretty sweet. There isn't any more, right? Let's at least steer. Um, I just rotate the ship a bit. I had a feeling, but I didn't say it, that the moment we steered into a storm in the ocean biome, that we were going to come across a serpent. I feel like that's when it usually happens, you know? Yeah, I think that's all we got. Seven. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. How much our ship barely took any damage? Let's sail around and see if we can find another. Do our best not to get thrown out of this ship, too, while we're at it. Oh, my God. Took about nine arrows to kill the serpent. Uh, I don't think every arrow hit him either. So those are pretty damn good, man. I like that. Yeah, you know, I gotta start keeping uh I gotta start keeping fucking uh stuff for a portal. I might just need to start keeping like the materials to build a portal on the actual ship. And then whenever I get somewhere, bam, I can pop the portal in. And uh I instantly travel back home. This way I don't have to do this. You know, I like sailing, though. I wish there was a, uh, a sailing skill in the game. I know there's some stuff to, that you can acquire later on that will help you with sailing speed. But I do wish there was a sailing skill that just slowly, as you continue progressing through the game, the more and more you sailed, maybe uh, the faster the ships, you know, it traveled, maybe the easier it was to steer, maybe the less damage it took. You know, the more you sailed, the less damage your ship takes, you know, stuff like that. You know, maybe at a certain point, if you hit, like, certain levels of sailing skill, maybe you could start doing upgrades to the ship, even if they're just cosmetic, you know, things like that. That would be pretty cool. I like to be able to put shields on my ship, which I thought you could do in the Mistlands update for some reason. I don't know why I thought you could do that, but I don't think you can, unless you can't yet. I don't know. But, you know what I mean? There's there's a million things they can do with Valheim. There's a million things they are doing with Valheim. Should we sail around this area right here at night? Give it one more chance. There wasn't much ocean biome right here, so. I don't know. It's already nighttime. Fuck it. Maybe the chances of coming across a serpent on night are increased. I don't know. Welcome to day 309. It is officially morning. Dude, I sailed around in the ocean all night. All night hoping to come across a serpent. And uh, nothing. Nothing, man. So that kind of sucks. That worked. So that's what I wanted to be able to do, is just immediately come off a ship, sit here and rest. Okay, it works, kind of. I'll have to tweak it a little bit so you don't have to find as specific of a spot to do so, but yeah, I think that worked out pretty well. All right, well, kind of a bust on uh, on the serpent hunting. I was really hoping we'd come across a few more than just two of, or one of them. I was hoping at least two or three, but... And we got seven pieces of meat, so we'll... Uh, We'll run over to the cauldron and the iron cooking station or whatever over in the house and uh, see what we can make with it. Uh, 
Alright, let's go to the cauldron. So, we didn't unlock anything by just having the serpent meat on us. So, it looks like we're going to have to cook it, which is totally fine. Let's go ahead and put that up there. Put five up there. So, we'll just do... See how big those motherfuckers are? That's hilarious. We'll put five in there, and then... Uh, we're not going to have much serpent meat for a while. So, we'll put that down here with our neck tail and our, our fish. What the hell was that noise? Probably have something outside destroying my raft. I have a, ra a raft in the pond over here. And uh, they tend to try to attack that when they're coming around. Alright, these guys might take a little bit of time to, uh, to cook. Actually, we'll put this neck tail away too. There we go. Not bad. There we go. Look at that. Serpent stew. And I missed it. It went across my screen fast. Alright, what do we get? Serpent meat and serpent stew. So we have the ingredients we need to make serpent stew. Alright. What do we got here? Serpent meat, obviously you can uh, just cook itself. Where is it? Oh, serpent meat, you just put on the, uh, we have already. Hold on a second. Right here, duh. 70 and 23. Not bad. That's pretty good. All right, and then the serpent stew itself, what do you need to make that? 80 and 26. Health the stamina. 4 HP per tick. That's big time. A mushroom and two honey. Dude, you know how much honey I have and how many mushrooms I have? That's easy. And this is typically the food I eat when I'm going in areas that I've already been to that I'm not really... Like too concerned with the amount of health and stamina I have. So um, normally what I would eat, probably my, my strongest foods are over here. The sauces, which is 55 and 18. The black soup, which is 50 and 17. 50 and 17 health to stamina. And over here with the serpent stew, that's a huge increase. 80 to 26. Dude, that's, that's pretty significant. The last 30 minutes plus 4 HP per tick. That's really, really good. All right, shit, not bad. All right, guys, well, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. Uh, you know, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the dock. Let me know what you think about the docks, if you have any ideas uh, on what I could do as far as decorating it, uh, expanding it, getting the, the, the comfort um, the way I want it to be. Uh, about anything, let me know. <laughs> Let me you know what you think about the serpent hunting. If you have any uh, any tips or tricks on um, you know being able to hunt down serpents a little bit better, maybe I'm missing something. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe. Cheers.